pure jumping technique is this good. And you can pick up time in corners like this. There's still a chance you're going to get beat by some bum who beats you out of the hole at the start. Or outsmarts you on the corners. Or just generally outsights you every place on the course. Chances are, he wins the race right at the starting line. Well, here are some winning tips, tricks, and techniques from the Suzuki School of Motocross that can help you beat this guy and everybody else on the track. If you're at a track where you can choose a starting position, often it's best to choose an inside line, as close to the side of the track as possible. This usually gives you the shorter line around the track, keeps you out of the middle, where most of the pilots happen. A disadvantage to the inside line is that you can get crowded into the fence when the other riders try to take the short line around the first turn. If you're particularly fast, or lack experience to handle crowded starts, you may want to position yourself on the outside of the track. The main thing is, stay away from the center. Some riders like to position their wheels in a rut for better traction. A rut means more tire contact, more bite for your tires. Also, if the rut is straight, it will help guide the machine straight. If you choose a rut, place both wheels in it. One wheel in and one wheel out could start you out crossed up, which means lost time, and possibly running into the rider next to you. If the track is very soft or muddy, the additional traction can cause you to wheel you, which is spectacular, but usually will force you to shut off the throttle and lose time. If you don't use the rut, don't get too near one. You may slip in, causing the machine to go sideways. Almost as bad as being next to a rut being next to a rider who thinks he's a real hot shot. This squirrel generally starts out sliding all over the track. He can lock handlebars with you or slip sideways, causing you to lose your line. Avoid him if you can. When you're settled into position, don't pay attention to the other riders or anything else that can distract you. Concentrate, like this fellow. Think only of your own line and of a quick smooth start. Prior to the race, practice starts. Determine the best starting technique for your bike. This is as important as riding the course. Try to select the correct gear and throttle opening and determine the best way to release the clutch. It's important to practice releasing the clutch. The clutch is the power control when starting with the power full on. Slipping the clutch allows smooth acceleration and prevents too much spinning and too much traction or a wheelie. Top riders usually start with the throttle full on. Most riders use second gear to start, but this depends on many variables including gearing, rider weight, machine size, tire condition, and traction. Avoid starting in too low a gear and over revving or too high a gear and bogging the engine. Practice gear shifts at the start that give you the fastest acceleration to the first turn. You won't be able to hear your engine, so you have to arrive at shift points before the race. It's a common error to stay in a gear too long, which will lose time for you. Watch some starts of motos to see if the flagman makes any movements that indicate he's about to drop the flag. You can use this as a tip-off to begin letting the clutch out. If your start is from a gate, Watch the gate drop speed to see how quick to start slipping the clutch. You can detect gate movement faster from an angle than straight on. Watching the gate can give you a split second advantage. Also, if you're near the starter, keeping an eye on the gate release mechanism will give you an edge. Line up your machine for your best line through the first turn. Make sure your bike is vertical for maximum traction and straight acceleration. Warm up your machine for one or two minutes. Sit all the way forward. Lean the upper body far forward. Putting the weight forward minimizes the possibility of a wheelie and keeps the rear wheel from digging in too much. Feet should be down to the rear of the pegs. Is the gas on? Are you in gear? A few seconds before the start, let the clutch out slightly to be sure. Now go. 
Remember, concentration and quick reflexes are super important. Professionals get plenty of time to study the track and practice. But the track isn't open as long to amateur classes. It's important to know the track as well as possible, so most pros walk it. Look for hazards you can't see from a bike, like tree roots, loose rocks. Look for places where slick spots will develop. Look for areas that will develop hoops. Will berms that you can use for cornering build up? Look for areas of the track where it wouldn't be safe to go off in case of a crash. Choose your lines for turns and jumps, keeping in mind alternate lines for passing and escape routes. After you've walked the track, ride it slowly at first to learn the course. Watch other riders, particularly good riders, and those who know the course. Look for the lines they choose. Does your machine fit the track? Make suspension adjustments in between practices. Now back to the start. If you didn't start out in front, you have to worry about passing. And passing a rider on an equally good bike with equal talent to yours requires strategy. Staying a safe distance behind him early in the race is good, because you can see everything he does, and he can't see you. Staying directly behind is not good, because if the front rider makes a mistake, you want to be in a position to capitalize on it. Directly behind, you might miss your chance to slip into the lead. Pressure works, too. Showing your wheel can make the rider ahead edgy, causing him to bobble. But don't get psyched out yourself. Some riders will over-rev their engine or yell to break your concentration. No. These same riders will brake hard just before a curve, even though it isn't necessary. You're not expecting that, so you brake maybe kill your engine, or at the best, miss your line. If you've been concentrating, this wouldn't have happened. Concentrate. Ride your own race. Particularly if you're a novice racer, don't be concerned about the other riders behind you. Just go after the guy ahead of you. Think all the time about the line you want to take. And by the way, after you've crossed that finish line, don't take all the credit. Tell the trophy girl about how you couldn't have done it without your Suzuki. She may not know an air fork from a magnesium hub, but this may be the start of a beautiful friendship. You might as well know that she could become the most important thing in the world to you, right after your Suzuki, that is. <laughs>